Good talk. I am your host, Eve Nyaga. With every new year comes new resolutions. And I know for a fact that so many people set up this new goal of making sure that they keep fit through the year, but they don't follow through. So what are we doing wrong? Where, where is the problem? Today we'll be giving you a few tips of how you can follow through this goal and make sure that you keep you end the year having kept fit. You can be part of this conversation by sending in your comments, questions, or just tell us where you're watching us from on eCircuit across all our social media platforms. Or you can talk to me directly on my social media handles at Eve underscore Nyaga1 on Instagram and Twitter and Evelyn Nyaga on Facebook. In studio with me, I have the founder and CEO of Authentic Fitness and Adventure, Tyson Odero, and he'll be telling us more about fitness and how we can put some fun into it. Tyson. Yes. Thank you so much. How are you feeling today? I'm feeling good mm -hmm. uh, for having this chance to be here with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yes. Why are you not dressed in attire fitness? Um, <laughs> today we want to talk about fitness. We want to do practical. Oh, so we don't I'll, to do I'll come for practical. Uh -huh. So today is just theory. Okay. So that uh, next time we do practical. All right. Yes. Sour, sour. So fitness, I think fitness is broad. Can you just tell us what fitness is? Or what it entails? Yeah, fitness, uh, just as you, you, you've said, uh, mm -hmm. fitness is broad. Mm -hmm. And uh, fitness is the ability of uh, doing your daily activities yeah. without undue fatigue. Mm -hmm. So, like uh, today, you are coming to work mm -hmm. and uh, you are walking to this place. Yeah. You don't feel like uh, there's some fatigue. Mm -hmm. So, that's, that means you are fit. Mm -hmm. Uh, so uh, that's specifically for fitness mm -hmm. and now um, these are uh, uh, fitness is in uh, different categories yeah. uh, and how you can perform fitness mm -hmm. so uh, what you can say uh, 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 fitness basically uh, you can wake up every early in the morning mm -hmm. you just try to do some stretch ups yeah. in your bed mm -hmm. That in is fitness, bed. yes. Just stretch up your hands, mm -hmm. that's fitness. Okay. Uh, you can as well decide that now you want to perform, uh, you want to jog, mm -hmm. you just move out of your house, you mm -hmm. jog around your locality, mm -hmm. then you come back. Yeah. That's still fitness. Mm -hmm. Then there's also aspect of fitness whereby you go to the gym, mm -hmm. you be a registered member mm -hmm. with uh, uh, an instructor mm -hmm. who will always guide you on what to do and uh, so on and so forth. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. What about the aspect of eating and feeding right meals? Yes, meals is also very important. Mm -hmm. And that's why when you come to um, uh, our field, mm -hmm. that is uh, maybe if you come to a company, you are a new client. Yeah. What you normally do is uh, we provide you with a questionnaire mm -hmm. whereby you go through the questionnaire what you're supposed to do. And in the questionnaire, first of all, before you go through the questionnaire, mm -hmm. you have to check your BMI, mm -hmm. the body mass index, yeah. so that you can see where to place you and what uh, mm -hmm. activities you undergo. Mm -hmm. Through that questionnaire, there are some questions that will answer whether you have a problem um, somewhere. Mm -hmm. You indicate there. Mm -hmm. We also uh, check your weight, yeah. your height. Mm -hmm. So it will be easy for us to, while giving you an activity, mm -hmm. it will be a task that you can't fulfill. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Not something that will strain you. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So why is it that people find it so hard to keep fit? Is it expenses? Is it time? What's the problem, according it, uh, to you? Uh, I can say it's uh, expenses mm -hmm. and also time. Mm -hmm. Because uh, some people are even working extra hours. Yeah. You're working for nine hours, for mm -hmm. instance, mm -hmm. and you want to do an overtime for five hours. Mm -hmm. So when you go back home, you're so tired that mm -hmm. you're not even thinking of doing fitness. Mm -hmm. uh, when you come to expenses whereby uh, maybe you have visited a certain gym yeah. and uh, you are asking for charges, they're telling you uh, for this month, you'll be charging you, let's say, 10,000. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you weigh yourself mm -hmm. with 10,000, then it's a lot of money. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. But uh, there are some um, activities you can do without uh, the expenses. Mm -hmm. uh, just as I was saying, yes. like yoga. Mm -hmm. Yoga is just picking up your mat. Mm -hmm. You're down there. Mm -hmm. You are doing your workout. Yeah. 
you have not uh, used any coin mm -hmm. because you have mat in the house mm -hmm. or you can even use your uh, your kikoi yeah. or the carpet mm -hmm. you just do some fitness there and then you're good mm -hmm. yes okay so most people think that fitness just involves going to the gym that is what when i think of fitness myself yes. that is what comes to mind yes. like working out you know kubeba chuma yeah. and all that stuff yes, yes. What other misconceptions and myths are there about fitness that people believe that are not true? People believe that fitness uh, is maybe going to the gym mm -hmm. and then you're building your muscles. So, yes. you, are, you understand. Mm -hmm. But it does not the aspect of fitness. Mm -hmm. Fitness, uh, for instance, like while I was coming here, mm -hmm. the distance from the gate to this place, mm -hmm. That's a workout. <laughs> <laughs> when you're not driving inside here, yes. so maybe you are like there at the gate and mm -hmm. you walk to this place. That mm -hmm. is fitness. Mm -hmm. But now there's that aspect where people think that if you go to the gym, that's the only fitness. Well, that's what you can do. Yeah. Uh, I believe you. Maybe you love dancing. Mm -hmm. That is fitness. Yes. Where the music and you just uh, some moves. Mm -hmm. There's aerobics. Mm -hmm. There's zumba. Yes. Just some music. That mm -hmm. is fitness. Mm -hmm. So uh, there's this aspect of oh, let us just go to the gym. Uh, mm. The only way we can be fit. Yeah. Not really. Mm -hmm. There are so many ways that you can keep fit. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And you might even find that where people think that it's only the big people that are unfit. You can run mm. from here to somewhere over there, but you're panting so heavily. Yes. That's a sign of someone who is <laughs> not that, unfit. That's a sign of someone who is unfit. <laughs> there are so many of us. Yes. So <laughs> okay. Yes. So why do I need to keep fit? Why is it so important for me to stay fit? Hey, first of all, uh, uh, what I can say about uh, being fit is very, very important. As I was saying earlier about yeah. fitness, mm -hmm. is one way uh, you are doing your activities without undue fatigue. Yeah. So like right now you are here interviewing me, mm -hmm. but uh, you might be feeling some pain on your back, like mm -hmm. I, meaning you are not fit. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you are fit like the way we are talking, I can see now there's no undue fatigue, mm -hmm. meaning you are you're fit. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, fitness, first of all, it will help you to be active. Mm -hmm. Like you can do your chores very well. Uh, Another thing, fitness will also help you to um, reduce some diseases. Mm -hmm. Like uh, in this uh, last year, mm -hmm. uh, 2019, we lost a number of people yeah. through cancer. Mm -hmm. Some of them, uh, some of them being prominent, uh, prominent people. Mm -hmm. Those who are aired on, on news, but there are some who are not aired yeah. on news. Uh, majority. Yeah, majority. Mm -hmm. And fitness is also one of the way you can reduce these diseases. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So when you stay fit, your health also improves. Yeah, very, very important. All right. Yeah. So let's talk about how um, adventure plays into fitness. Yes. Yeah. So there's aspect of uh, uh, fitness and the aspect of adventure. Mm -hmm. So adventure is, uh, is uh, one way of uh, uh, becoming to a place you are, you are never before. Yeah. So, for instance, uh, and it also help you to move out of your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. When, if you are just here, like daily work, uh, you come mm -hmm. daily, 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 you don't go out there to network with different people. Mm -hmm. You don't go out there to make friends. Yeah. So that's where we introduce adventure into fitness. Mm -hmm. So, like for uh, uh, this January, we are having a fitness, act a fitness and adventure activity. Mm -hmm. It's called Aqua Fitness. Mm -hmm. Uh, in Lake Naivasha. Mm -hmm. So there is that uh, road trip. We, we have people from different places they've never met before, but they're coming together, they make friends, mm -hmm. they network, moving together. And then we are going to also introduce aqua fitness. Aqua mm -hmm. fitness is uh, what you call uh, some music and water. Oh, okay. So, and you, you've heard of uh, Olukari and Yotamu a lot. Yeah. So there is music there mm -hmm. and the warm water, mm -hmm. some move. Uh -huh. there, yes. Oh, aerobics, something like aerobics, aerobics in water. In water. And That's Zumba so in water. Yeah. What yes. other fitness activities um, can you do while maybe exploring being adventurous? Yes, some of the fitness activities are we normally do corporate uh, team building mm -hmm. mm -hmm. different companies. Mm -hmm. Like, let's say, 
here at our place. You're mm -hmm. working here, some people are working over in the gallery. Yeah. Some are outside the reception. Mm -hmm. Maybe you don't find time to meet or talk. Yeah. But when we create team building mm -hmm. uh, sessions, mm -hmm. we introduce a session whereby you people can network mm -hmm. within, the, uh, uh, within the farm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, what about activities like cycling? Hiking, yeah, yeah, there are activities like yeah. You see, fitness is broad, just as you said. Yeah, because it's not only that we on normally do aqua fitness. Mm -hmm. We do a number of activities, like yes. just uh, some years back, mm -hmm. uh, on eighth December last year, mm -hmm. we did uh, uh, the forest. Mm -hmm. We're calling the flying fox. Mm -hmm. Is a uh, the zip lining, the mm -hmm. cycling, mm -hmm. there's horse riding, mm -hmm. there's uh, bull painting. There's archery, a number of activities. Yes, so even archery is also part of, uh, of, mm -hmm. uh, of uh, fitness. Okay. Because uh, we're trying to stretch. So yeah. That you, uh, mm -hmm. it's, Interesting. It's also, it's also, you're stretching your muscles. And yeah. that is fitness. <laughs> the cycling. Yeah. You're working out your, your, yeah. your thighs. Mm -hmm. That's fitness. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So that was the main purpose of you starting that company. Yes, the main purpose of me starting the company mm -hmm. was to make sure that you're fit mm -hmm. at the same time you're enjoying yes. when doing adventure. Yeah. Yes. Because I think um, when we talk about fitness, sometimes it seems like something so hard to do, you know, and strenuous. Yes. But when you put some cycling into it, yes. you know, zip lining, yes. aqua fitness, it doesn't seem so hard. It, it's, it's more fun, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, uh, the main reason of story now, fitness and adventure come into uh, existence. Mm -hmm. Is that uh, a number of people were like uh, I used to be? Uh, I used to do fitness before. Mm -hmm. So if you invite somebody for a uh, fitness activity, mm -hmm. then this one um, turned to be a big mess. Like how 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 will I go for fitness? Yeah. But now we decided to introduce now adventure. Mm -hmm. So uh, there is part of fitness mm -hmm. inside adventure. Yes. So a number of people love traveling, mm -hmm. and now. There is that aspect that if I'll travel, then mm -hmm. I'll enjoy. Mm -hmm. And when you travel with us, what you normally do is introduce a, a, a session of mm -hmm. a, a kind of a team building. Mm -hmm. So team building, they are all aspect of uh, of fitness. Mm -hmm. We stretch here. Mm -hmm. We introduce music for uh, aerobics. Mm -hmm. People enjoy there. Mm -hmm. So even if you are going for hiking, let's say in Mount Longonot, mm -hmm. and we have already introduced a. Uh, um, there's that adventure that you have traveled from Nairobi to Mount Longonot. Yeah. At least people have networked, they've interacted. Mm -hmm. Then there's that aspect of team building, mm -hmm. uh, whereby there's some kind of cool music for mm -hmm. aerobics. Mm -hmm. So we get that psych mm -hmm. of uh, climbing Mount Longonot. Yes. So it, it becomes so easy. So if you, if you, if you say that you're going for Mount Longonot, mm -hmm. a number of people will come because some will just come because of aerobics. Mm -hmm. Some will come because of uh, networking. that uh, networking. Some mm -hmm. will come because of photography. Yes. So it be easy for you mm -hmm. to do a fitness and adventure. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's the definition of killing two birds with yes, one stone. It, yes. It's not even two birds. It's like four birds. Yes. <laughs> okay. So how many people have benefited from authentic fitness and adventure from your feedback and responses? Is uh, a number of people have benefited from. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, our company, mm -hmm. we started. Uh, we started by doing a single trip mm -hmm. uh, every month. Yeah. But now we are approaching a level whereby last year we did like four trips a month. Mm -hmm. But we are approaching a level where we are doing daily trips. Daily trips. Yes. Wow. So if you want to go for a game drive, uh -huh. we are there. If you want to go to Mombasa, Diani, yeah. we are there. Okay. If you want to go to Kisumu, we are there. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. And uh, from statistics of uh, last year, mm -hmm. we accommodated uh, a number of uh, 5,820 people mm -hmm. who travel with us. Mm -hmm. And we normally travel with uh, two arrosas, like uh, mm -hmm. two or three two mm -hmm. arrosas. And arrosa has, a, has a, a capacity of 28 uh, people. Yeah. So you can calculate that number. Uh -huh. So a huge number. Yes, yeah. it means now what we're doing. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> what we're doing is, uh, is in line with the uh, business mm -hmm. and activity. A good number who love to travel with us. Yeah. Yes. 
Um, since you're combining all these things together, I believe it's not the easiest thing to do. What are some of the challenges that come up with that? There are a number of challenges that come up in uh, fitness and activity. Mm -hmm. uh, you see, a uh, uh, client is always right. Mm -hmm. So for you to do all these activities, you have to be a servant, you don't yeah. be a boss. Mm -hmm. And uh, in our company, we don't have a boss, we mm -hmm. don't have a whatever. Everybody mm -hmm. is a servant. Mm -hmm. So what we normally do, we try to accommodate each and every, everyone who is traveling with us. And we try to ask for feedback mm -hmm. from uh, our clients, like yeah. where do you want us to improve, what do you want us to add, mm -hmm. what do you want us to do so that we can make uh, this advent adventure mm. successful. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, you see, just like uh, some people might not be satisfied, mm -hmm. and that is everywhere. Yeah. What you try to do, if you are our client and are not satisfied, mm -hmm. maybe some of are satisfied, we approach you one on one. Mm -hmm. And now we're trying to tell you uh, this thing happened, you're not happy about it, we're sorry about it, next time we're trying, we'll, we'll try to fix it. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So, like I said in the beginning, so many people set up this goal of keeping fit through that year when you when you're planning your new new year's resolutions yes. so could you give people maybe a few tips of how they can ensure that they they follow through that goal and towards the end of the year they can say i actually achieved this yeah or uh, what what we normally do mm -hmm. we have a, a list of all the adventure activity for mm -hmm. the whole year so we have a whatsapp group Mm -hmm. and there is in a Facebook and even social media, uh, Instagram mm -hmm. uh, page, whereby we normally post all our activities. Mm -hmm. So, uh, like uh, yesterday I was having a conversation with a, a certain client mm -hmm. who has been promising herself that I'll be traveling, I'll be traveling. Mm -hmm. Like uh, she has been uh, doing procrastination, I'll be traveling, yeah. but it doesn't happen. So mm -hmm. she came for advice mm -hmm. and uh, we advised her that uh, we have um, uh, we have these uh, in the first quarter we have these events. Mm -hmm. What you can do, just try to maybe attend one of the events yeah. and maybe you'll get feedback from mm -hmm. there. So, and you see, uh, when, you, when, you, when, you, when you, you attend our events, mm -hmm. you will now meet different people and then you'll also network and whereby you'll start be giving other psych like let us go for next next mm -hmm. adventure. Let's so that's what we normally do. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, interesting. So could you please share with us maybe where pe people can find you on social media if they wanted to talk to you about fitness and adventure? Yes, you can. Where's my camera? This one? Yes. You can uh, find us on uh, Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, Authentic Fitness and Adventure. Uh, Instagram, Authentic underscore fitness underscore adventure mm -hmm. uh, uh, Twitter at uh, authentic fitness and adventure and you can as well uh, contact us via our, our WhatsApp number 0720731957 and yeah. immediate feedback mm -hmm. once you inbox us mm -hmm. we reply instant instantly yes all right so I want us to wind up but before we do yes. just give people a parting shot about fitness and how they can maintain maintain it yes what they can maintain about fitness mm -hmm. I, I just want to maybe invite them to our activities eh? okay so like uh, on 19th january mm -hmm. we are doing uh lake naivasha boat riding mm -hmm. and aqua fitness uh, uh, fitness at geothermal hotspot mm -hmm. we have few slots to go they can uh, hit our till number so that they book their slot mm -hmm. we also have uh lalanasi mm -hmm. uh camp out this is love edition, single mm. mingle. Those who want to, to mingle, the single guys, and those who love each other, is a camp out on 15th and, mm. uh, and 16th at Lalanasi in Nanyuki. We also have, uh, uh, on uh, 8th March, we also have the Scary Bridge in uh, Kitengela. We just come, network, and uh, make new friends. We're also doing Diani in April, and a, a number of activities. There's yeah. also Takawiri. Mm -hmm. In in uh, in Rusinga, mm -hmm. so let us just join our team, and uh, all the answers will be, will be solved. 
Okay. Yes. So thank you so much for coming through. Thank you. We appreciate you making time to talk to us. Thank you so much. Okay. Next time to attack a practical. Yeah, next time we'll come. Uh, yeah, next time we'll come with our instructors. We have a team of instructors. We are so many. Mm -hmm. So the DJ just give us music mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. And then you'll be in your uh, maybe yes, fitness attire. Definitely. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. So all the producers, the guys at the gallery, everybody, everybody will be here so that we, <laughs> we do uh, the, the uh, aerobics in Zumba yeah. and even yoga. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate. All right. We appreciate too. So as you've heard from. Tyson, it's not very hard for you to keep fit. It's very easy. Just stretch your hands, you know. Walk a distance. It's not that hard. I mean, make sure you accomplish that goal this year. Don't, don't write it down for next year. Sawa, sawa. That's all we had for you on Real Talk today, but don't you go anywhere. More of the East Circuit coming your way in a short while.